Hi, my name is Erin McDonald. I'm an astrophysicist, a science fiction consultant, and technical advisor. So by day, I'm a rocket scientist, and by night, I'm a warp drive expert. So when we're looking at possibly how warp drive could actually work, the fun thing is, is that our universe, we can think of as a sheet of space-time. So it's four-dimensional space-time. Some of you might have seen this trampoline idea. And the whole law that we can't really break is the speed of light. Nothing can go faster than the speed of light. It just, it follows a straight line because light doesn't have any mass. But the idea with warp drive is that just because nothing can travel faster than the speed of light on the surface of space-time, nothing says that space-time itself can't go faster than the speed of light. And so the idea with warp drive is that you build a bubble of space-time around your ship and then that propels you faster than the speed of light. And if you wanna go even faster than that, you build another bubble around that and another bubble around that. And you can think of that as being like warp factor one, two, three, and then you know, eventually you get to the point where you wrap all of space and time around your ship. And that's, you can think of as warp factor 10. And well, some people don't want to talk about that. <laughs> yeah, that's when uh, terrible yeah. episodes happen. <laughs> How do you know this isn't the best thing that's ever happened to me? There's this huge collaboration called the LIGO collaboration that is trying to find gravitational waves. And in 2015, 100 years after Einstein's prediction, they did actually detect ripples in space-time from colliding black holes, which is objectively awesome. <laughs> and so we saw black holes collide from the ripples in space-time that had traveled billions of light years to get to us. And the way I like to see it is, you know, with science, a lot of times is that you theorize something, then you see the indirect effects of things. So for Einstein, it was seeing light curve around gravitational wells. So you see light get curved maybe around the sun, or now we see, it's called gravitational lensing, light get curved around like dark matter or galaxy clusters, and Tilly even uses gravitational lensing to detect cloaked Klingon ships, which is my favorite fact ever. <laughs> Long range sensors have detected the power signature of a cloaked Klingon vessel. So you see these indirect effects, and then the next step is to directly detect that thing. And we directly detected space-time with gravitational waves. And the next, you know, progression is to learn to play with it. So <laughs> that's when we can get warp drive. Captain, we're passing warp 10.